Yes, sir, man. It's Avell Motorworks, and I'm back with another one. So, y'all, today is I'm doing my lesson of the day for y'all, and I want to teach y'all about transmission gears, how to identify which gear is which gear from your neutral gear, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. If your transmission land in your hand, or if you got an issue with your transmission, how to go inside of it and know which gear to run to. Gear might not have no damage, and you trying to figure out which gear is what. Uh, different scenarios you might be piecing together a transmission from scratch and you might be missing the first gear how do you know looking at all these gears which probably be 10 gears in total uh five on each shaft um which the counter shaft or the opposite shaft you won't even know which gear is which um i'm not gonna teach you about shift forts the drums none of that stuff is straight just on first second uh third fourth and fifth simple so right now the bike is in neutral. Um, we just had a situation where I had a gear in backwards, honestly. And to find that issue, uh, we had to run a diagram to see which one I put in. Uh, simple, simple mistake, but we got it right. Right now the gear, is, the bike is in neutral. As you can see, I can hold one shaft, spin the other one as if you're rolling the bike back and forth around. It's in neutral. So the gear is not turning with the clutch basket. So, I mean, uh, the transmission is not turned over the clutch basket. It's just free, free, freelancing. All right. So, first gear on every single bike, uh, besides a Banshee. Uh, Banshees have pancake cases, so they split in half up and down. Dirt bikes and a lot of Raptors and Wild Z's and all that type of stuff, they split horizontal. Um, in this situation of this type of bike, this is a CRF 250R. The first gear is always going to be the pinion gear, which is this one. Well, and the, all of these are pinions. All of the front gears are pinions. All of the rears are spurs. Uh, the front gear for gear one is all the way in the back. It's the smallest pinion gear ratio with the biggest spur gear. So if you look all the way in the back, well, I'm trying to point my finger. I'm going to get something small and point back there. That's first gear. And you can't even see the pinion on the the front. Uh, reason is because it's so small. So that's first. So right now the bike is in neutral. If I knock it down, you notice that this shift fork just engaged first gear. I'm gonna do it again. Okay, I'm gonna knock it in first. You see that? It just engaged first gear, right? So when I wanna go to second, you know you skip past neutral sorry i'm turning it with my hand y'all so you go up so now i went up right so this gear right here is second gear you see the dog teeth in the inside right here uh the left shift fork just rised up and engaged second gear with the pinion now remember i told you the pinion gonna be the smallest uh ratio with the spur that's the biggest and in this essence where this is second gear now guess what it's the second smallest ratio with the second biggest gear in your basket so this gear right here is second gear okay so now if you look ahead you see this gear here and this gear here should be the third gear if i'm not mistaken so when i shift the gear this pinion should drop down engage the dog teeth into the rear gear and now this gear and this gear will be uh, uh engaged and then it should turn this shaft so oh I'm wrong i'm wrong so it was the back gear so that back gear is engaged to the gear hold on what gear am i in let me see something because I know I'm right. It's just I'm turning the gear with my damn hand. All right, so first, second. Oh, that's neutral. Second. That ain't right. Hold on. All right, first, first. Neutral. Yep. Second. Third. So, uh, 
to tell you which one was third. Okay, so yeah, I was right. So the back gear just engaged to the one right behind first gear. Uh, let me get my pen and show you. So this gear just engaged to lock in with the gear in front of it. If you see what I'm saying. So now I'm gonna shift it again. Yeah, is that fourth? So that's fourth and I can show you which gear just engaged. So this gear right behind second gear, which is here and here just engaged. I'm gonna wiggle it a little bit so you can see it move. You see that? And why did it move up? So it can engage with the gear right behind second gear. Uh, I'm gonna give you a good thing. Second gear is always next to fourth gear. First gear is always next to fifth gear. And then you got neutral, neutral gear in the middle. Third gear is always in the middle of neutral. So now I'm gonna go to fifth gear. All right. So now I went to fifth gear. Now this same gear that was on third just connected to this. Now, if you notice this gear I'm pointing at in the back, it's actually smaller than this gear right here in the front. Now think of a mountain bike. If you ever change that front gear up, it's the highest, the hardest gear that give you the most speed. And then you change the smallest one in the back to like, let's say gear six on a mountain bike, you're getting the fastest speed. So what just happened, right now I'm in last gear. So now instead of it being first gear, which is smallest in the front, biggest in the back, now I have the biggest on my whole complete shaft in the front, which is this one I'm pointing at, engaged with the smallest that I have on my rear shaft, which is last gear. Because the ratio is gonna make it pull at the highest uh, speed. So I'm gonna wiggle it so y'all can see that's the one that just moved. This one just lined up with this gear right here. So that is fifth gear, okay? So I'm gonna do it over again. You got first gear, you got fifth gear, you got second gear, you got third gear, and you got fourth gear. All right? I'm gonna knock it all the way back down to neutral. All right, take them. All right, so now this should be neutral. Yep. There you go, lesson of the day.